<laughs> What's this? Go on, go on. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's strong enough to pull me back. He ain't got no beef. He ain't got no beef. <laughs> yeah, he says, uh, when you see Emily, he says, tell her it was me calling. That's what I'll tell him. Why? What, what did she? What did you do? Rather about because she much. Bit bit. She may have thought it was me. No, I know it was. It was a different wagon. It was different up the front bit, yeah. yeah. Look better than yours. <laughs> this out. My new M's dungarees have turned up. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd try these on today. See what I like. Um, yeah, just me. Well, just I thought it was just me and M, but then. It's me, M, Ash, Mick. Actually, quite a few of us here. So we'll get busy with feeding these cows. M and Ash have already started feeding round with the TM. I'll jump on this straw blow, pull this bale in, we'll cut the bands and get on our way. The yard's looking nice and tidy at least. These guys are all happy eating. It's coffee time. We have the three. Wanderers returning. Have you seen what Ash has done to his hat? He's done an handy. Um, yeah, he's, stuck his, he's stuck his Ollie Boggs bobble off top. Ollie Boggs. <laughs> Ollie what? Ollie Boggs. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Are you happy? Alright. Good? Good? Nice to hear? For now. Oh, yeah. yeah? What's that mean? Well, you're probably upset me someone. Oh. <laughs> Upset you. You You're just wanting to steal stuff off me again, aren't you? I never steal off you. <laughs> I might do though. <laughs> <laughs> I might nick you with it. Like He's trying to steal my wood. It's on the floor. He knows I've got good wood, that's what it is. <laughs> Isn't it, Ash? Huh? Good wood. Good wood. I am? <laughs> I'll have a bit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you want a bit of my wood? How much do you want my wood? In a bag. What? In a bag. <laughs> I know. If we can't, it's alright. But I'm not pinching it. Yeah, you're not having none of my wood that I've cut, cut up. What do you mean? No chance. I cut some up and all for you. <laughs> Did you heck? Yeah. I'd have barred it if I put it in bucket for you. Cut, you, can cut, you can cut up your own. Okay. And I think that's me being kind. Fair play. Fair play. Me and them twins with our stuff on. We're just looking at this phone pocket, it doesn't fit anything in it. Your knife. My knife, I don't think that'd even fit in. I think that'd stick out the top. Maybe. Yeah, not far off. Could be a filming pocket though, Em. Stick your phone in and the camera will stick up above. Mm. Mm. Had to change seats now. He's not happy. Hey, Cocker. Oh, you're proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I like it. There you are. I like it. Yeah, what's all that about? Shit, <laughs> oh. The other ones have got massive on your tail, So M's just getting a bit of a mix done. Um, well, I just get this last bail put out. Windows are a bit mucky on this. I think we'll have to clean them a bit later. Just blowing a straw into these ones. It's fairly new. We'll do it all the way along here. Already wearing these dungarees is all right, but if, when you sat down in tractor, this bit goes all like a bit floppy, and then this these start coming down. I oh, know it's a, bit, a little bit annoying. So whether I need to tighten them up, but then it might be too tight when I'm stood up. 
Look at this tractor clean. Look at the sunroof. It's covered in straw, isn't it? Not that we ever looked through that. I just noticed it when I put my camera on then. Um, yeah, we're going to give this, give all the windows on these a clean because they're looking real scruffy and um, get them mixed up. My brother's coming to do some more of the apple trees, um, so we'll give him a hand with that. And uh, yeah, a bit of a steady day, really. I don't think we've even got any cattle to vaccinate. It all goes wrong, you know. When I say stuff like that, it all goes wrong. Ben's back, he's cutting the apple trees back again. You having fun? As I was saying all that, we've got an error code. 400. Google says it's EGR, so I'll put these bales down and just have a look at the sensor. Try and find that. See if we can give it clean and hopefully we might fix it. We had a quick look in engine bay and yeah, I can't really tell what part it might be. Um, just put some coolant in it, got back in. No error codes, so we're just gonna have to keep his eye on it and see what uh, see what happens. Just been checking around this JCB, just gonna top up a bit of hydraulic oil into it with my glamorous assistant Ashley. He's gonna hold on to that, and I'm gonna pour it in. Em's getting st stuck in back at tractor, getting all straw out of it on the cleaning job. taking back the apple trees there that's all sorted just messing about doing these ones as well big drummers yeah it, yeah huh. 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 ben's trying to get into the apple tree now and stand on the kerosene tank is having fun the idea is we cut them back, make them more manageable. We've got solar panels on this roof as well, so we don't want to be shading them. And they were getting up to that high where they were starting to shade them. So next year we'll not have any apples on. Do you think? Um, but the year after that we should be all right. We should be back in full swing. So I've just had my dinner now, and um, sounds like we've got a little bit of a leak on the borehole. I think it's probably when we were pulling the branches out here. I'm just guessing, not seeing it yet. We might have pulled on one of these pipes. So we'll have to take a look at that. One of these, this bit in here was leaking water. All over the electrics, which is great, um, but we've got managed to get it sorted now. Um, yeah, just because we pulled it from that side. All like waterproof electrics, because I guess it's got to be in like a wet room or whatever they want to call it, uh, borehole room. So I don't think there's any chance of anything happening, but it still just makes you think, oh, water and electric don't really mix very well. Um, yeah, right, until we uh, finish off our day here. Beast. It's time for today's mix of Let's see who it is. It's Chris Nichols. Thanks for donating to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, saving lives. It's your birthday, Chris, but if it is, happy birthday. And if anybody else wants to get their name on the mixer, then um, head to the Just Giving link. It's in the description below. It's in the description to most of my videos. Uh, it takes you straight to the Just Giving. All the money goes straight to the charity. And yeah, Yorkshire Air Ambulance can use it to save people's lives across Yorkshire. Business. Going to extreme lengths. She's even washing the tires. Uh, but yeah, it should look good in a bit, this. The trees have changed a little bit, haven't they? Oh yeah, keep the corn in this, because he's admitting to something that he's done here. What, have you the one who pulled the pipe? Well, you didn't know, ages ago. There were a mark on you bought this, and everyone said, you were like, Rash, what's it done this? Oh yeah, it looks pretty nice. And I had back into it, and it looks better, and so I took the paint off back of it. Oh, well, you were it. Alright, well, you were it. You're as bad as me dad. We've got the 7530 just parked up at the minute because um, we're going to get Ripon Farm Services just to have a look at it again um, as it's throwing some error codes up. So we're not going to use it until uh, they've been to check on it. I um, think it might be to do with the turbo, possibly. Seems to be the error codes that are coming up. And um, yeah, I'm going to put the... I've uh, just fetched a load of straw down. So I'm going to put this back onto the 130, hook all the 
beat you up and all that. So it's all ready for the morning. Psh has just noticed something in here. There's a wire. That. It's come off somewhere in there, can't see because of the light. Got another bit down here. It's going to be fun in here, working out where that's actually come from. Brilliant. It's not throwing any error codes up, which is a bit weird. Um, on the wires, it's got 600 and 100, one's 600 TT, one's 100 TT. Uh, or oh, plus plus, I'm not really sure. It's a bit difficult to see. So if anybody's like knows the JCB wiring numbers or whatever, then they're the two wires that have, uh, that have got mangled. What I've done now is I've just taped them up out of the way of the fan, hopefully, um, so they don't get chewed up anymore. And yeah, might have to ring JCB on Monday and see what it's all about. Unless somebody knows and can let me know in the comments, please. There they are, all strapped up to that. Uh, I don't know what it is really. Just a metal bar, I think, for holding holding it fan in place or something. Yeah, anyway, it's uh, it's taped onto there now, just holding them out of the way. Oh, as I was saying about that 7.5 and Ripping Farm Services are here. Coming to check on it. Just putting it on the mixer so we can get it under load and just try and get it to throw the error code up again. So, we're just getting it filled up now. So, we've got plenty of load on it. There's definitely something wrong with this tractor. It's like doing little bev ups. There's definitely something wrong with this. Of course, when the John Deere fitter was here, the tractor wasn't putting up no error codes on his laptop. And, um, well, we're doing the mix. It didn't do anything, so we left it mixing. He went away. Then I jumped on to tip it off. And it must have been the extra load of the hydraulics or something where well, the tractor was going vroom, vroom, like revving up a little bit. There's definitely something wrong. They're going to come and have a look again on um, Monday evening, I think, just to see uh, see if they can get it to reproduce the same sort of um, power requirements. And then, yeah, hopefully it throws something up on his laptop. Uh, it's all laptop now, isn't it? All laptop, 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 laptop. But um, yeah, hopefully that will get it sorted. So just getting the uh, evening feed done now. These guys. Feeding it out of the MX. Or the bucket. There we go. Well, that is about it from us today. Um, if you've liked the video, remember to press that like button and to subscribe if you've not already. Oh, Ash. That's what I forgot to tell you. We've reached 14,000 subscribers now. When will that then today? Uh, I'm not sure if it was last night or if it was the day before. Like we're still like... Uh, oh, it's still 13 in a bit. 13, yeah, 13, 9. So we've hit it, we've hit it. Who would have thought like in less than a year there's 14,000 people on YouTube that subscribe to our channel and you guys watch it. Uh, it just blows my mind. I was in, I, when I was watching that thing the other day, and they were, you know, at the Farming Awards, 800 people in that room, massive. And then I think, and then like you think, 14,000, 14, like that room would literally be full with probably people stood up. So um, yeah, it just, just blows my mind that people want to watch what we do on the farm. And it, I, I think it's great and fantastic. And thanks for watching. And um, I was just announced here, we've got to 14,000. Yeah. Woo, business. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. Boom.